Dite perdant. Te maldigo. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies to watch in fall. Bravo, Pugsley! For this list, we'll be looking at films that capture everything we love about autumn, from the foliage and seasonal celebrations to the start of the school year. Which of these movies is required fall viewing? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Hocus Pocus. We shall be back! And the lives of all the children shall be mine! <laughs> this fantasy comedy film somehow makes Halloween even campier than it already is. Salem witches Winifred, Sarah, and Mary are sent to their graves on All Hallows' Eve in 1693, but are accidentally resurrected exactly 300 years later. A teen newly displaced from L.A. must team up with his crush and a talking black cat to outsmart the wicked trio. Although they aren't trick-or-treaters themselves, the Sanderson sisters capture the spirit of the modern holiday with their old-timey garments and jittery energy. With many fall movies opting for genuine scares, this cult classic takes a family-friendly approach that is still genuine fun. Number 9. Remember the Titans In Virginia, high school football is a way of life. It's bigger than Christmas Day. Fall means football season, and few films combine autumnal sports fair with an important history lesson as seamlessly as this one. 50,000 men died right here on this field, fighting the same fight that we're still fighting amongst ourselves. Dramatizing the story of real-life coach Herman Boone, Titans chronicles his effort to lead a team to victory in a recently integrated high school. Each one of you will spend time every day with a teammate of a different race. Although entrenched racism creates an obvious divide between the players, Boone puts them through an athletic and social boot camp that attempts to foster real relationships. As summer gives way to cooler weather in this back-to-school flick, so does the celebrated coach slowly but surely transform his community. We are the Titans, we are the Titans, mighty, mighty Titans, mighty, mighty Titans. <laughs> Number 8, Halloween Town. No, Grandma, this is totally awesome. I mean, nobody around here really appreciates my taste in weird stuff. The first installment in the film series of the same name is pure fall nostalgia. Hollywood icon Debbie Reynolds stars as Agatha Aggie Cromwell, a witch who inadvertently leads her grandchildren to her mystical place of residence. While the spellcaster and her adult daughter argue over giving the youngsters training in magic, trouble brews as locals continue to disappear without a trace. So this is why so many have disappeared. Ah! First you put them under an evil spell, and then you turn them into statues. No! Not statues! They're very much alive! Only the fourth ever Disney Channel original movie, Halloween Town has become a new holiday classic for viewers of a certain age. With the whimsical town absolutely decked out in jack-o'-lanterns, and residents ranging from goblins to skeletons, this fantasy comedy conjures up Halloween memories like no other. Grandma says that spells are stronger when you have more than one witch. You want to help me? Okay. Number 7, Rushmore. Take dead aim on the rich boys. Few back-to-school movies are as kooky as this one, but it is helmed by Wes Anderson after all. Eccentric prep school student Max Fisher, played by Jason Schwartzman in his film debut, strikes up a friendship with a wealthy parent estranged from his family. When they both fall for elementary teacher Rosemary, a fierce competition for her affection begins. Has it ever crossed your mind that you're far too young for me? It crossed my mind that you might consider that a possibility, yeah. With the coming-of-age tale spanning the fall semester, 
we're treated to autumnal foliage and outfits alike. But just as importantly, the film captures the transitions and growing pains of our high school years. You said you wanted to meet? Well, when? Right now. You said you wanted to put an end to all of this. Oh, yeah. I, uh, was gonna try and have that tree over there fall on you. Number six, Knives Out. For many, fall means getting the family together. Thankfully, though, the stakes aren't typically as high as in this mystery movie. Daniel Craig's Benoit Blanc is a private detective investigating the death of patriarch and superstar author Harlan Thrombey, played by Christopher Plummer. With a slew of relatives demonstrating motives for the killing, it's up to Blanc to deduce what really happened. And the family's dysfunctions don't make it any easier. Boasting numerous leafy backdrops and characters bundled up for the cold weather, we're looking at you, Chris Evans, this film strikes the perfect balance of macabre story and pretty scenery. And by pretty scenery, we mean that huge house. Friend said it was stashed, the copy. And then she said, you did this. Number five, The Addams Family. When it comes to spooky flicks with serious family spirit, there's nowhere else to turn. Children, what are you doing? I'm going to electrocute him. Based on Charles Addams' characters and the 60s TV series, this supernatural black comedy film follows the gang as they unwittingly fall prey to a financial swindle. With a lone shark's son posing as Patriarch Gomez's long-lost brother, the Adams's fierce loyalty to family is pitted against their suspicion of the bizarre newcomer. With a cast of characters including death-obsessed daughter Wednesday and disembodied hand Thing, this movie has ghoulish personality in spades. I was so proud. Weren't we all? The titular gang has rightfully stood the test of time, and they simply embody the creepy fun of Halloween. Everyone keeps asking where he bought his costume. It is a wonderful hat. Bashina! Number four, Halloween. I wish I had you all alone. Just the two of us. If there's any time to binge watch scary movies, it's the fall. With the days getting shorter and summer's warmth fading, there's something just a little bit ominous about the season. In Halloween, of course, that thing is Michael Myers. Hey, jerk! The infamous serial killer pursues babysitter and high school student Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis, across one hellish day and night. This iconic film has spawned a successful media franchise, and for good reason. Devoid of any obvious supernatural elements, it boasts a simple but downright terrifying premise. The horror classic laid groundwork for future installments in the slasher genre, and easily deserves a rewatch. If you're not easily spooked, that is. Ooh, he's gonna get ya! No, he's not. Hey, nobody's getting anybody. Stop scaring each other. Number three, Goodwill Hunting. Do you like apples? Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> this psychological drama explores a troubled youth's emotional growth amidst New England's fall scenery. The titular character is an unruly 20-year-old with genius-level intellect who's discovered by a mathematics professor at MIT. In order to avoid jail time, Will takes up scholarly research as well as therapy sessions that truly challenge him. Your move, Chief. With the protagonist frequenting the prestigious university campus, the movie captures both the feeling of possibility and the pressures that arise at the beginning of an academic year. Fittingly, the script's first draft was written by star Matt Damon during his time at Harvard. Number two, Scent of a Woman. In this emotional drama, Charlie, a scholarship student at an elite prep school, takes on a job assisting Frank, a blind and bad-tempered army vet. The truth is, Charlie, 
I need a guide dog. Help me execute my plan. While Charlie grapples with a moral dilemma involving his classmates' wrongdoing, he brings some much-needed levity to his charge's days and drastically changes the latter's life plans. Set against the backdrop of New England and New York City in the fall months, the movie includes such memorable moments as a disastrous Thanksgiving dinner with Frank's family. Now you've gotten so wrapped up in the sugar business, you've forgotten the taste of real honey! Frank, for God's sake. While Al Pacino's powerhouse performance as the retired lieutenant colonel is certainly a draw, this film's storyline of mischief at school is also perfectly suited for autumn viewing. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. When Harry Met Sally some of this beloved rom-com's best scenes show off New York's autumn foliage. Okay, there's this guy. What's he look like? I don't know, he's just kind of faceless. Faceless guy, okay, then what? He rips off my clothes. Then what happens? That's it. Friday Night Lights. This sports drama preceded the football-themed TV series of the same name. Chris Colbert. Right Colbert, around the right side. Run runs out of bounds. Fantastic Mr. Fox. For its beautiful palette of fall colors and focus on a charming family of foxes. What'd the doctor say? Nothing. Supposedly it's just a 24-hour bug. He gave me some pills. I told you he probably just ate some bad gristle. We take the shortcut or the scenic route. If Beale Street could talk, this romantic drama tells a story of criminal injustice as New York City shifts from season to season. Beetlejuice. Combining horror and comedy, this beloved film is a Halloween classic. We just want to get some people out of our house. Ah, I understand, I understand. Well, look, in order to do that, I'm really going to have to get to know you guys. You know, we got to get closer, move in with you for a while, get to be real pals, you know what I'm saying? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, you've got mail. I turn on my computer. I wait impatiently as it connects. I go online and my breath catches in my chest until I hear three little words. The late Nora Ephron was a master of the rom-com form. In this movie she co-wrote and directed celebrates cuffing season like no other. Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan star as Joe Fox and Kathleen Kelly, bitter business rivals who unwittingly share a virtual romance. He heads a giant bookstore chain, and his company's expansion sadly threatens to stamp out her small business. Oh, you poor sad multimillionaire, I feel so sorry for you. Besides containing the fantastic dialogue that was Efron's signature, the film is a love letter to New York City's autumn months, with one of Joe's emails to his pen pal standing out as a particularly quaint tribute. Come for the beautiful scenery. Stay for the touching romantic storyline. If I hadn't been Fox Books, and you hadn't been at the shop around the corner, and you and I had just met. I know. Yeah. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.